Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkoli Singumbe and I hope I find you perfectly well wherever you are and having a wonderful Friday. For those that will not be going to work on Monday, I hope and sincerely pray that you'll have a wonderful long weekend. Uh, I don't have much to say except to update on the situation in Krukastop or rather in the West Rand, uh, in Houting, following some questions that have been uh, sent to us uh, via WhatsApp and Facebook, especially from those who want to travel to that uh, particular area during the long weekend and the, the holidays. Uh, what we have been told from eyewitnesses uh, is that the situation is a bit tense, especially following the rape last week of eight women and the resultant police operation meant to account for the rapists. So you would know that we reported that uh, 80 people were initially arrested by the first operation and then 46 more were arrested earlier this week. We are not certain as of now if any of those that were arrested were actually responsible for this uh, dastardly act which happened uh, on those girls who were shooting a musical video but what we know right now is that the police operation has spread beyond targeting just the rapists to also targeting illegal miners popularly known here in South Africa as the Zamazamas because there is a school of thought that these illegal miners have been terrorizing residents especially of Kruger's Top, Rodport and Kahiso with their criminal activities. Uh, many of you would know that uh, wherever there are Zamazamas, uh, there is bound to be gang wars and usually they use guns to fight those particular wars. And what has been happening is that, as we are told, uh, every day, almost as soon as uh, it's 6 p.m., and beyond it was very difficult for residents to go about their business for those that are coming back from work for those that are going to work for those that have been to the shops because these uh, gangs would in the process of fighting just attack anyone who happens to pass to pass by they would shoot at people willy-nilly and presently they would rob people they would rape women so when this police operation was first launched, the residents say that they were very happy because they believed that finally something was being done uh, around these uh, terror gangs that were terrorizing them. But now it's become uh, some bit of a setback again for them because instead of just targeting criminals, police are now targeting almost every migrant in that particular area, especially those that uh, are illegally in South Africa. And once they arrest you, what they charge you with is not uh, a migration-related uh, matter, but they charge you with rape, and you have to free yourself uh, uh, from police cells or maybe you may even be sent to court. So this is something that is quite worrying. Although we do not condone crime by anybody, we believe that police have a better way of dealing with migration issues and dealing uh, with rape because uh, the arrest of illegal migrants and then charging them with uh, rape then becomes something of a complicated issue because the process that is involved in dealing with this particular uh, crime will be very long and cumbersome. So we believe that uh, police can do a better job of accounting for the rapists and accounting for these terror gangs uh, who we are told had made it a bit difficult for police to access them and uh, enforce law and order because they would shoot at police, they would uh, kill police officers, which is very, very bad and something worth condemning but we also hope that in the process of arresting these criminals who raped uh, women uh, in such a gruesome manner and robbed them will be accounted for but we hope that in that process police also spare the innocent suffering migrants who are just trying to make ends meet uh, through uh, legal means uh, that they are using so we hope that police will 
deal better with this particular issue because it's become a trend that whenever a crime is committed in South Africa, police respond by arresting migrants as if it's only migrants that are responsible for crime. We are not condoning migrant criminals. We are not condoning South African criminals. What we are saying is that criminals are criminals and they must be isolated. Communities, whether migrant communities or South African communities, should also isolate criminals and report them to police. Uh, in a way, uh, our harboring of criminals also results uh, in this collateral damage whenever police respond heavy-handedly uh, with heavy-handedness as it is happening right now uh, in the West Rand. Uh, we are also told that two people, uh, at least two people from Zimbabwe have been shot uh, trying to run away from police because they didn't have the travel documents to be here in South Africa, while also Malawians, Mozambicans, and Zimbabweans have become uh, the main targets of this police operation because uh, of their migration status. So we hope that uh, police, in accounting for these criminals, what the, which we also pray that will be accounted for because of the gruesome nature of the offense that they committed, uh, will also spare and protect those that did not commit the crime. Thank you very much. Have a nice weekend and a wonderful long weekend. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it.